Hi everyone, so today we will unbox this Nimbus Gamepad controller by Steel Series, and uh, I bought this specifically for Apple TV. As you can see here, it's made for Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, iPod, and uh, uh, if you look at the list here, made for Apple TV 4 Gen and all the other uh, iPhones and iPads. Uh, not for Apple TV 3 because there are no games there, I think. And let's take a look at the specs. So, yeah, this looks pretty good. The packaging is really good. Interestingly enough, pressure sensitive D pad and trigger pads and lightning connector. So, you'll need a lightning connector, but of course, if you have an iPad, uh, definitely have that. 40 hours battery life, that's a promise. Let's take a look here and see what's inside. Okay, and uh, here you go. This is the gamepad. It's going to be a very quick unboxing. Why? Because there's nothing else in the box. It's just the gamepad in the box. No manual, no instructions, no lightning cable. That's a shame. And uh, let's take a look at this gamepad first. So this is the pressure sensitive uh, D-pad. Okay, it looks, uh, looks good, feels good. The tactile feedback feels great. And the overall build quality of the gamepad actually. I'm checking out the thumbsticks here. It's actually really good. Uh, the trigger pads. Now since there's no manual, I don't know how to connect this. So there's a uh, the lightning connector there. There's a hold button that you slide off and then there's a Bluetooth uh, button. I don't know what they do. I'm going to try to connect them, but I would just like to give uh, tell you guys the, uh, the build quality of this Nimbus controller looks really great. Uh, it's really good. And uh, it's steel series, of course, so you can be sure that it's, uh, that it's of uh, great build quality. Okay, so here I'm going to try to connect this now. Uh, let's go to remotes and devices. Um, remote app and devices. Let's check it out, see if it'll connect. Okay, nothing's happening. It's not appearing. I'm pressing the button, the home, uh, the Bluetooth button, the home button. Okay, so when I slid the, the hold button, it f started flashing. But on the Apple TV, it's, there's nothing there. Nothing's happening. So I don't know what to do. Um, and then, so I figured out the hold is actually some kind of a power button. And then when I went to the Bluetooth uh, connections, uh, it appeared there on my TV. There, it's an Nimbus. Not on the uh, remote and other devices, but on the under Bluetooth. So there, and uh, once I figured it out, um, it paired pretty quickly. I'm not sure if pressing the Bluetooth button on the gamepad did anything actually, but now it's working. So it's the hold button uh, that powers on the gamepad. Okay, and let's check it out. It works fine um, right now, navigating the, the Apple TV. And uh, let's, take, let's test this on Badlands. And it works great, I gotta tell you. Uh, if you played Badlands 2 on your using your remote, and actually it's, it's really a bad experience, that's why I stopped playing after a few minutes. But now that I have this Nimbus gamepad, wow, okay, so it reminds me of why I really love Badlands. Um, so it looks like it's designed, uh, the game is designed actually for to be used uh, with a gamepad. So this is a great buy, I, I'm glad I, I got it, great premium build quality and uh, the price is uh, premium as well, got this from Data Blitz. Um, so thank you for watching guys, this is the Steel Series Nimbus Gamepad for Apple TV and iPhone.